Welcome to Unlocked and Equipped. I'm Aficionado, also known as Maduro, on my alt account. It has, it has nothing to do with the South American uh, president. I'm not into politics. I like cigars, that's where Aficionado name comes from. I'm not Mexican, I'm not South American. I like Maduro cigars. So, yeah. Today I got the T-67. It's the turreted American tank destroyer. It's a little tier 5 tank. And I'm not really a big fan of TDs. But because I'm trying to do the personal missions for the female crew members who come with three skills, I have to play a TD. So. I am going down the turreted TD line because I've never tried any of these tanks before. And as you can see, I'm in a tier 7 match. And it's intimidating being a tier 5 in a tier 7 match. But watch this. Like, I can't really say I'm lucky. I do generally pretty well in this little TD. The turret moves slow because it is a TD. But I'm getting really lucky here with non-penetrating shots. I flank around. I'm doing the alternate uh, way up to the hill here on Corellia. I think this is Corellia. Yep, Corellia. And I just happen to get awesome shots at these tanks. I'm trying to play smart. Like I'm backing away when the tiger looks at me. And the accuracy on this little gun is just great. I rushed that shot, but I didn't want to get hit by an IS-2. Um, he could one-shot me. Um, the tank is just a little tank. has 360 hit points, so... Any kind of shot by any of these heavies here would be just devastating. So you have to kind of weave in and out of harm's way. And it's an agile, nimble little tank. It can really, uh, can really move. Um, let's see what the pen is. I don't use gold rounds. I don't feel like I really have to. 128 pen. With regular AP. And 177 pen. With gold. And, uh, it's about 115 average damage shoots really fast like every like two seconds and I've racked up uh, 900 damage already which is a, quite a lot for a tier 5 tank kinda hard to pin those tiger peats from the front um, armor is kind of non-existent and it's an open turret so HE just absolutely demolishes you but the idea is to be quick and not nimble and not get hit. So you're dancing like a butterfly, stinging like a bee, and if anything touches you, you're dead. So uh, if you like that kind of playstyle, it's very similar to a light tank actually. Um, it's like a light tank with a better gun. It's pretty fun. Like, this game... It's pretty amazing because I have like four heavy tanks down here who I'm kind of just like stabbing to death with a little needle. And the gun is very effective. Accuracy is good. I managed to get to uh, Tank Destroyer Mission 15 with this tank. So it did all 14 of the missions, no problem. Having a little bit trouble with uh, the final tank destroyer mission. KV2 just missed me there. I was playing pretty risky. But the 15th mission is due 3,000 damage. And this game here is probably the closest I've gotten. But I will probably have to get the Hellcat to try to get 3k. Just now getting to around. I just broke 2,000 damage there. 
And I think my win 8 for this match was something ridiculous, like, uh, 14,000 or something. I just got wrecked. It's more than half my health. I think the only drawbacks to the tank that I can think of, I've played quite a few matches with it, is it's just low hit point, uh, low hit point pool. And the turret moves kind of slow. Like it's not the regular kind of light tank or medium tank turret. It moves like, it kind of moves almost like a moss turret, just barely moving. But you know, if you're playing the tank right, it's not a big deal. You should be sniping from the back or using the speed to get an awesome flank. And um, you don't want to be brawling with this little tank, that's for sure. So the drawbacks are really kind of in line with what you would expect from a TD of this nature. And I have no issues with really anything about this tank. Um, I'm a little bit apprehensive to try the Hellcat. I'm at 2,500 damage here. I almost got my mission that you know that I wanted to get. 26. That's it. I love the tank. Nothing really bad to say. Someone said FUT67, so you can really make the enemies angry. Um, yeah, that's it. For tier five, it's great. See how the Hellcat goes. But I uh, hope you like that review.